right, uh, what's this one? Case 15. In the dermis, there's a purple glob. Um, it's coming in focus here. And where are we, probably? What's this? Uh, cartilage. Yeah, cartilage. Exactly. So we're probably on the ear, maybe the nose. Gosh, I hope not. That's a big piece if it's the nose. But I would imagine we're on, like, the helix or somewhere. I don't know. I don't have any history on this case, but that would be my guess. All right, and yeah, here we got some neutrophils and right above the cartilage, a purple blob with a little bit of pink layering around the outside. So what what is this? Botryo. Yeah, botryomycosis. And so what is botryomycosis actually? Do you know? Like a clump of staph. Good. And you can, I wish I could get you to see them better, but that's what you're seeing here. These are actually little aggregates of two or four. Sometimes they make little like kind of like square shaped uh, clusters of cocci. And on, on this scan, it's really difficult to see. But, but in real life, usually when you look closely, you can see that rather than the long filamentous um, structures of actinomyces, or the actual fungal hyphae of eumycotic mycetoma. In botryomycosis, you're getting that same kind of sulfur granule look, but the structures it's made of are coccybacteria. So this is a confusing name because botryomycosis sounds like it should be mycology, should be fungus, right? But it's not. It's actually a bacterial infection, but it produces that same kind of mycetoma-like sulfur granule. They tend to be, from the few cases I've seen, much smaller. This is actually one of the bigger ones I've seen. They tend to, the ones I usually have seen in practice, you'll get like one or two of these tiny little granules. They sometimes are very hard to find because they're so focal. You got to get just the perfect cut. But then what you do is you zoom in to see if they're made of cocci. And if they are, then the answer is a botryomycosis, which as you said, is due to cocci, gram positive cocci bacteria. Here's a picture from my friend, Dr. Patrick Rush, great dermatopathologist. And you can see a little more clearly, these are little cocci and they're clustered together. And they often have that pink splendor hopley phenomenon around them. They don't have to, but they often will have that. Just like any sort of like foreign, you know, growing um, um, cluster of organisms tends to produce that, that phenomenon. Okay.